It's time now for the Pier Chell Border News for this Monday morning, March 30th, 2015. <laughs> Good morning to you all this Monday morning. Back to work, back to school. You know, you do the lines here at our top story at 8.15 here on this Monday morning here is... In Los Angeles, Switzerland, where American officials have said on Monday that they are still negotiating with their Iranian counterparts on one of the main issues remaining in their efforts to reach their deal on Iran's nuclear program at the disposal of Iran's big nuclear deal. A former Israeli prime minister was convicted of corruption today after unlawfully accepted money from a U.S. supporter as Ayut Oliver. Hope to lead this country to a historic peace agreement with Palestinians in the most generous deal to date before being convicted. In Fort Pierce, Florida, a church van crash leaves eight dead and ten injured as it was traveled from Fort Myers to back to the Fort Pierce area on State Road 78. Secretary of State John Gary and Iran Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif was raised on the clock on Monday to a grant out of the agreement aimed at curbing Iran's nuclear program while easing the sanctions that have been bruising the economy. United Health. <coughs> United Health Group, the nation's largest medical insurer, plans to buy drug benefits manager, Canterbury, and an effort to contain the pharmaceutical drug prices. Reports have suggested that the German wing co-pilot, Andreas Limitz, have suffered from mental health issues and may have been receiving treatment for vision problems before he flew the plane into a mountain range. The passport numbers and visa details of 31 world leaders were actually emailed to the organizer of the Asian Company in Australia before the G27 appearance made in November 2014. Raphael Solicitor has warned that he will no longer be accept being called and sacked by anyone discussing the killing of Baron Kircher and a strongly worded statement after he and his former girlfriend Amanda Knox were acquitted of a death by Italy's highest court. Iranian Foreign Minister Javed Zarif smiles as he nuclear talks begin on Monday in Switzerland as the country claims the U.S. drone strike killed two Revolutionary Guard advisors in secret Iraq. <clears throat> Paris Bar, right National Front leader, Marine Le Pen, could have hired her disappointed but they not to have one on one single local council in France's election by the decision she was satisfied with her party's performance. The Harry Wade partners in Borough gets pedicate treatment for press as he can't make his own retirement and death without having a leak in the demand says he essentially makes Introductory comments. I'm about to start to get in the pretty one. President Brock Barber reconnects with Pizza Man's Cock Manducer on the Tarak in the St. Lucie International Airport before boarded Air Force One in Fort Pierce, Florida. The U.S. is ending the Boston Marathon bomb case with some grisly photos of victims. Martin O'Malley takes aim at Hillary Clinton's crowd. Okay, in business news here. Shanghai, Hong Kong stocks lead on similar hopes that European tech shares up after Wall Street rally and dollar broadly. Harm U.S. as we take a look at the stock market report here on this. Okay, take a look at stock market report now. 17.712.66, up 34.43. SP Power, 2,061.02, up 4.87. And NASA, 489.22, up 27.86. Jet Blue Summit is system wide IT outage early Monday morning that created long lines at many of the curious airports. Uh, the Rand Nuclear Deal could bring a new oil spy as more press balls say that US stocks are sold off and Stronghold also weighs on oil prices. The Irish pharmaceutical company Corinth and Pharma has set up multi tenant dollar for to buy high pure on therapeutics and Calpha for $1.1 billion in cash. Angelia Julie wins Best Bill Kids Choice Awards for Maleficent, the Star Wars president at that show with her two daughters. As she took the stage and started to deliver a message of hope. To all kids. 
Carmel just wore that. Government of 40 should take strong actions to prevent increase in global warming as they believe that President Abe, 2 degrees Celsius will not avert the risk of climate change. Our newly discovered Cambrian predator with a wicked set of arms under its four iron face reveals that early arthropods were experimental with a kid using their limbs. GNC Holders Incorporated New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman said Monday that the test of their company's herbal supplements found that they are in full compliance with the Food and Drug Administration contrary to reports from Mr. Schneiderman. A new study found that the hot drink of coffee can protect against liver cancer, which is often associated with alcohol abuse for each cup consumed any day. There's about 14% decreased risk of liver cancer found in a study by the World Cancer Research Fund. Some 70,000 children are seen in emergency departments each year by the United States as a result of unintentional medicine over the doses of sparkling push by the American Academy of Pediatrics to move all metricators from pediatric dosing. That group from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine at UCL Institute of Young Overall Health elsewhere in London reports that the findings of the British General General Practice. Okay, let's take a look at some New England incident alerts here at Eight twenty-one here in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Early morning, stabbing on Middle Street has got a thirty-nine-year-old female stabbing in the chest as bill for a promised woman in connection with a stabbing. Peter Childers times out. Eight twenty-one. Take a look at sports here to say that Michigan State spread the final four. But Chuck, it would be an understatement. There was a very bad basketball team for the start of the 2014-15 season, but they're in the final four as Michigan State will take out Duke. Well, Kentucky will take out Wisconsin. Red Sox spirit worse for Curtis Vasquez. As Clay Buckles is all smiles after he was named to the start the Boston Red Sox season opener against the Philadelphia Phillies. Dad, Philadelphia, a week from today. The Boston Bruins defeated the Carolina Hurricanes last night in overtime 2 1, while the Boston Celtics fall to the Los Angeles Clippers 119 106. Celtics play tonight. Down to Charlotte gets the shot. Order it's game time, 7 o'clock. Peter Chell News out. 822. We're on this Monday morning. Back to work. Back to school. Later. It's time to have our travel report here on this Monday morning here. And. And it shows Route 95 on the northbound side. Slow after the positive speed and all the way out to Route 128 in Captain here. That is because we got it exited here on 128 on the northbound side after Route 95. So expect some delays here. Route 20, Route 128 northbound slope around Route 24 in Randolph. Route 3 on the northbound side is backed up from. You just read the break all in after break three split. Surface expressway at the north bond side. It's backed up from the break three split all the way out to the Mass Avenue Bridge. And the Mass Ave exit. Surface expressway stop on slow right of the Milton stretches here. One way on the north bond side. It's slow from East Street and Denimir all the way up to Route 20 in Waltham. Mass Park in the East Bad Side, slow from Natick all the way up to the Also Bratton Tolls. Mass Park West Bad Side, a little slow around the Also Bratton Tolls around the new corner of the West Bad Side. West Bad Mass Park, slow from the Logan Airport down for South Boston via the Ted Williams Tunnel here. Route 93 in the South Bad Side, slow from Snake Bridge all the way up to Massachusetts Turnpike here. 93 on the South Bad Side. Slow from Stone of Allway down to the Zaken Bridge. Route 1 is stop on time. Slow from Route 60 to the Revere all the way up to the... to Route 93. Lever Connector in Boston here. And we got an exit on 93 to the North Outside around Route 20 in Somerville. And an exit around the Mystic Fan Parkway in Medford. So expect some delays here. Route 128 on the South Bond Side. Slow up to Route 129 right in all the way up to Waltham here. We got a couple of accidents here. 128 on the ramp to, from Route 3... Exited here, so 
Expect rallies on the Burlington area. Here, route 2 slow after 4.225. Lexington all the way after route 128. At route 60, at, the, at route 2 of the East Pad side. So from route 60, it doubled all the way up to Fresh Pond Parkway, Cambridge, Lexington. Student exit at route 2 of the East Pad side. Between route 60 and the Fresh Pond Parkway, Cambridge. So expect some delays here. Okay, route 3 to the South Pond side. Slow down for the Bill Breaker stretch. 495 South Pond side. Slow around route 93 in Andover. 93 and 95. Ball fired from 128 to the New Hampshire border here. And speaking of New Hampshire here. 393-95, a ball on five to the Granite State. Today, please, ball on five. Brad Manchester on Route 101 at the eastbound side. We got an accident on 101 eastbound side before. Night, route 95, so expect some delays here. Spot the turnpike, south outside, a little slow after Route 4 Durham here. And up on the main turnpike, 95, ball on five on the main turnpike from York all the way up to Portland here. 495 on the southbound side, slow after Route 117, both due to an accident on 495 southbound around Route 1 between 117 and Route 62 and both of the Nutson. 290 on the eastbound side, low slow around downtown Worcester, 146 northbound slow before 290. 1, Route 495, northbound side, slow to the Hopkinton stretches here. Okay, Route 99, slow, slow from Lincoln down to Cumberland on Route 122. 146 stop on slow before 95. 95 stop slow from second down for downtown Providence. 6 tech connector slow from route 6 all the way down for downtown Providence. Route 6 slow from 128 down for route 10. 195 westbound slow from Seacock all the way down for downtown Providence. Route 95 not my time. Backed up from route 37 and walk all the way up to downtown Providence. See here. James have bridges more at 5. Route 138 slow. By the middle to the eastern end of the Newport Bridge, due to some road work on the Newport Bridge here. Ford Bridge on the southbound side, a little slow here. From Route 25 to 28, Buzz Bay, down from Ford Bridge, down to Ford Rotary. No, 28, no bad, a little slow around the, due to a little accident. So it's principal A's around the Ford Bridge Rotary here. Okay, take a look at the MBTA here. Okay, on the MBTA, Civil Line SL2 experienced some minor delays due to traffic, and Camera Rail is going to be back to full service, and which it did this morning. So, commuters are happy here, but on the Greenbush Line, trade 076, 750, and from Greenbush, delay today, 5 to 10 minutes in Greenbush. But otherwise, all the lines are modified here. Peter Jell News on 828, time out for a weather report for today. Scatter shot, May before between 10 and 3 a 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. For today, with some scattered showers, how about 46 degrees? South about 11 to 60 miles because I is 30 miles per chance of precipitation is 30%. West would about 6 to 8 miles per chance is 25 miles per for Tuesday. South guys, how about 46 degrees? West would about 8 miles per chance is 20 miles per. To that, chance rain before 10 p.m. Then a chance of snow, mostly cost got low about 27 degrees. A lot of variable wind becoming enough around 5 to 9 miles per hour to midnight. Chance of precipitation is 40%. New snow duration less than half an inch possible for Wednesday. Saturday, the most good skies have about 45, no about 20 degrees, no for about 11 miles per hour for Thursday. Put the sky with a high of 53 degrees. There's that, chance of showers, most of the sky low about 45 degrees, chance of predation is 40%. Friday, chance of showers, most of the sky have about 62, low about 41 degrees, chance of predation is 40 50 percent Saturday, chance of showers, put the sky have about 49 degrees, chance of predation is 40 percent So, yeah, put the sky low about 31 degrees, and for Sunday, most of the sky have about 47 degrees. Norton temperature set at 38 degrees with some overcast skies, and that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. Body news on this Monday morning, March 3, 2015. I'm Peter Wiggins, and I hope you have a good day. I will see you with a noon time report. Have a good day, with a good morning, with a good positive here.